In fish, the heart pumps blood through the ventral aorta to a series of aortic arches which service the gills. In the gills, oxygen enters the blood, and this blood then returns uh, into the dorsal aorta and is distributed throughout the body. Now, the embryos of all vertebrates, even the vertebrates which live on land, develop uh, a series of six aortic arches, which then are modified. And so, whether it be reptiles, birds, or mammals, the same aortic arches and the same circulatory pattern develops in mammals as is found in fish. However, during embryonic development, these uh, aortic arches are then modified so that only three then are maintained in adult life. The third aortic arch, which forms the carotid arch and services the brain. The fourth uh, aortic arch, uh, which forms the pulmonary um, circulation and services the lungs, and then finally the sixth aortic arch, uh, which then forms the systemic arch which services most of the body's tissues. And so during embryonic development, uh, the ancestral pattern of aortic arches found in fish is modified then to find uh, the adult circulatory pattern found in mammals.